Today's video is inspired by Las Vegas. All right, I'm going to start off making these hot chocolate brownies by adding three quarters of a cup of melted butter. Then a quarter cup of sugar. You don't need to add much sugar because there's already enough sugar in the hot chocolate mix. Next, I'm going to add a half a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. I use the vanilla yogurt, but you can use plain if you want less sugar. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to mix the wet ingredients for one minute. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients. All right, so I hate chocolate candy, but I love hot chocolate. Please don't judge me. So I'm going to add a total of four hot chocolate packets. I'm going to pour two packets in at a time. As you can see, the hot chocolate powder mix is flying everywhere. That's why I'm only putting in two at a time. Next, I put in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, then I'm going to put in one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. All right, so now it's time for my level up optional ingredient one of the things that vegas is known for is dry heat so i'm going to literally add in some dry heat with this cayenne pepper this will give the brownies a sweet heat flavor profile i'm only going to add a quarter of a teaspoon this recipe is also inspired by mexican hot chocolate don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more sightseeing savings recipe tips and tricks. I'm just scraping the flour off the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is thoroughly incorporated. I found this 8x8 inch pan at the dollar store and it fits into the Ninja Speedy. You just have to fold up the edges because it won't fit into the Ninja Speedy as is. I sprayed the pan with some butter flavored cooking spray and then I'm just going to place some parchment paper on top. This will make it easy to take the brownies out of the pan. I just hold the parchment paper down with the spoon so that the parchment paper can stick down to the edges of the pan. All right, so now it's time to pour the batter into the pan. This is the consistency and the texture that you want this batter to look like. Next, I'm just going to push the batter to the sides and the corners evenly. I just want to spread everything out to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. All right, so now I'm ready to put this into the Ninja Speedy. You just want to push the edges of the aluminum pan over to the sides so everything can cook evenly. Otherwise, you'll have a dent in the side of your brownies. All right, everything looks good. So now it's time to bake these brownies. 
Now you just want to make sure that you have the smart switch flipped over to the air fry function. If you don't know how to use the Ninja Speedy, I have a tutorial review on how to use this machine. Now I'm going to bring this down to the bake slash roast setting. And then I'm going to set the temperature to 350 degrees. I'm going to set the time for 27 minutes. And then I'm going to hit the start button. Now the 27 minutes are up and the brownies are almost done. Now I'm getting ready to melt down some caramel candies on top for an additional three minutes. This recipe is so versatile that you can use chocolate chips or marshmallows. But I'm going to put on some of these caramel bits on top of the brownies. So I'm just going to put on a quarter cup of caramel bits. So I'm just going to set the time for an additional three minutes to make sure that the caramels are melted. If you don't want to add any caramel or anything extra on top, then your total baking time for the brownies will be 30 minutes. All right, now the brownies are done. You can just double check with a toothpick just to make sure. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a spoon to make sure that I spread the caramel out as evenly as possible. Otherwise, you'll have hard, thick layers of caramel on top. Next, I'm just going to sprinkle on some sea salt. I'm just eyeballing how much to put on. I don't measure it out. Make sure you have some oven mitts on when you take this out of the Ninja Speedy. Now you just want to make sure everything cools down for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the caramel can solidify before you start to cut into it. I use a paring knife to cut into the brownies. It makes it easy to cut nine squares. So here's an end piece. I know some people prefer the end pieces of the brownies. Look how nice and shiny the caramel looks. All right, so I'm getting ready to eat a piece. Okay, so you get multiple different flavor profiles. You get the salted caramel. You also get a hint of the spice from the cayenne pepper. It has a little kick and a little bite to it. You also get a little bit of the caramelized crust on the edges. Again, you don't have to add the pepper, but I prefer it. As you can see on the bottom, it has a cakey texture. You can enjoy these brownies when it's cold outside or all year long. Well, that's it for me now, because now it's time for me to eat some more of these delicious brownies. Thanks for watching.